We begin on the morning of March the 23rd, in the year 2454. Carlisle Foster has risen full of strength that day, for March the 23rd was the feast of St. Terribius, a day on which men had honored their creator in ages past and still do today. He was not yet thirty, European enough in blood to be almost blonde, his hair overgrown down to his shoulders, and his body gaunt, as if he was too occupied with life to feed himself. He wore practical shoes and a cousin's loose but comfortable wrap, gray-green that morning. But the only clothing item given any care was his long, hooded, sensei's scarf of age-grade wool, which he believed had once belonged to the great sensei's conclave reformer, Fisher G. Garai, one of many lies in which Carlyle daily wrapped himself. Following his parishioner's instructions, Carlyle bade the car touch down, not on the high drawbridge-like walkway which led to the main door of the shimmering glass Bosch house, but by the narrow maintenance stairs beside it. These slanted their way down into the little man-made canyon which separated this row of Bosch houses from the next, like a deep, dry moat. The bottom was choked with wildflowers and seed-heavy grasses, tousled by the foraging of countless birds, and here, in the shadow of the bridge, lay Thisbe's door, too unimportant even for a bell.